Welcome everyone to the Nicola Valley Talk Show every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Pacific Time on our Experience Nicola Valley Facebook page. Tonight is a special night because this is my first time doing this um, talk show and my special guest Kathy Castro. And sorry, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Tanya Stewart. I'm a co-host of the Nicola Valley Talk Show. Again, I'm so excited to be here and to have my very special friend and a, who is going to be a very special guest here um, tonight. Her name is Kathy Castro, owner of Planet Hair and Spa here in Merritt, BC, located on Granite Avenue, downtown Merritt. So let me introduce you to Kathy Castro. Hi, Kathy. Hello. You can hear me okay? Okay, Kathy. So, Kathy, I'm so excited that you're here and that that um, you're my first guest ever and we get to go through this as newbies and, you know, as we do go through the years, you will be just really a pros at it. So, Kathy, I'm going to ask you some questions here and my first question is, Kathy, please share with, with um, our audience a, a snapshot of yourself. Okay. Um, well, I'm uh, Astro, <laughs> Planet Hair and Spa and... Um, so I've been doing hair for about 30 years now. I came out to Merit 25 years ago and started Planet Hair and Spa. And um, over the years have, um, you know, had a school, had um, laser hair removal, um, designed uh, clothing for the Merit Mountain Music Fest. Um, we've got tanning, we've had clothing. Um, we've had a lot of interesting, fun things over the years. and. Um, yeah, just been really heavily involved in the beauty industry and um, love it. Yeah, well, I know a lot of people love your like your shop through the years. I mean, I I, I personally know that it has grown. Um, I can't remember that far back, but I remember the hair where you were located before, and then you got clothes and stuff like that. So, Kathy, can you tell us the story of your business from the start to the finish, if you could? Um, sure, yes. Yeah. So, well, about 26 years ago, um, I used to um, have a lot of clients from Merritt um, in Camlet. And so um, Merit, I was always going to be my second location, and I was going to set up in Camlet. Things didn't quite go as planned, so I came out to Merritt and um, started Planet Hair and Spa. And like you said, we started off small, one little rack of like this AG <laughs> product or whatever. There it is behind me. <laughs> Oh, the little old barber chair at the front and um yeah it just kind of grew from there and um then we got into clothing and then we opened the spa and we had we started off with the tanning as well and um we just kind of kept expanding and um and like we said then we had a school and we used to do big fashion shows and teach modeling and you know big fundraisers and um, my mom and I traveled the world um, sourcing out cowboy hats and clothing. I used to design for the Merritt Mountain Music Fest, and um, oh, that was fun. Those 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 really good old days. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, there's just been lots of adventure, um, and that basically, um, I think, has been our um, business throughout uh, the 25 years. Wow, and and did you not? Did you have two businesses at one time? Yeah, we actually, we had three. We had, uh, yeah, we had one here in Merritt, one in Salmon Arm and one in Williams Lake. And we were actually asked to go across Canada with um, uh, the Sandman Hotels and sort of be part of their chain with like Sharks Club and Moxies and all that, which would have been a wonderful opportunity. But um, at the end of the day, I really, um, I'm kind of a small town girl and um, I just really liked uh, hanging out in Merritt and I didn't, want to take myself across Canada that I couldn't be behind my chair the way I, you know I've liked over the years <laughs> and that that would have um, been a huge enterprise also right you would have been a lot of doing a lot of traveling right I would have been doing a lot of traveling I, I would I would have had to have managed that across Canada and um, which would have been wonderful and I think if I was younger I might have you know taken them up on it but it was a thrill just to even you know being offered the opportunity so and, and speaking of traveling can you let the audience know some of the places you have traveled for to found products in these these different countries and brought them back 
Well, you know, what's interesting, I mean, I've, I have um, dabbled in a few products that I have. Um, well, I used to go to big shows in Vegas where people would showcase their, their stuff from all over the world that like my suppliers would go to these shows to find new products to bring in to sell across Canada. And um, there's not, you know, it's a kind of a small world when it comes to the beauty industry. <laughs> But there was the only one product that I brought into Canada before anyone else ever had it was, remember the little hair bling? The little oh, yeah. Bling? So that was the girls that just created it. They were at one of the big shows in Vegas. And so um, that was fun. And I brought that product in. But, um, you know, we have, I have traveled extensively through Europe. Of course, I have family um, there. My dad lives there. And, and Paul uh, Rose, my other half, he's got a lot of family there and friends. And um, so I always am curious to see um, what people are doing in the beauty industry. And I always make sure I stop in to salons and check things out. And, but you know what? It's, it's, uh, it's a small world. And believe it or not, even though we're from Barrett, we're on the cutting edge of everything. We're not behind on any of um, the latest styles or techniques. Or, so it's kind of cool to know that, too. You're a fashionista. You're definitely a fashionista. And being up on the styles of the new, what's coming out and everything, can you tell the audience and myself, because I have no clue, how, like, how do you keep up with it, with the trends and the, and the changing of the hair? And Well, you know, we, we sort of keep ourselves, um, you know, we go to different shows and things, and um, it's kind of one of those built-in intuition things you know it's not like we're um, and we definitely study we definitely watch programs you know magazines um but you know it's something that's really built in it's built in you to kind of feel what the latest styles and fashions and it's kind of exciting to see that you're kind of still got it that you know that you you're, you're <laughs> taking people in this direction and that's kind of the direction that the world's going in so but we, you know, our suppliers keep us up on all of that. We've always got sort of the latest trends and fashions, and they keep us really always like on the up and up to make sure that we're always um, keeping our clients um, updated. Oh, that's so neat. And speaking of hair, so now that you've reopened, because oh, sorry, I, I we should explain to the audience, or you should explain to the audience due to the COVID, you had to shut your doors. Yeah. And can you tell us how did you take that COVID experience and turn it into a positive? Well, um, it was quite scary at first to think that we actually, I'd never believe that we'd be shutting down and, um, you know, having to shut our salons down. But we, I took that opportunity because it had been 15 years ago that I had opened my doors in this location. So we took that opportunity to just like keeping up on the latest trends and fashions. We wanted our clients to have a beautiful new experience coming into the store with everything fresh, new, newly decorated, everything cleaned and sterilized and uh, kind of like a nice fresh start. So, and I do know that you, you're cleaning and sterilizing everything, Kathy. Um, what about the masks and, and, um, and, and such? Yeah, so, um, you know, we're just making sure that our clients um, have a mask when they come in or we'll supply it for them. Um, you know, we're wearing masks, um, uh, you know, just trying to keep uh, our social distancing as much as we can and keeping the public safe and, um, you know, that now that we're getting out and about that uh, we're not going to create uh, – any more problems and that we can maybe hopefully function with this COVID. It's quite difficult mm -hmm. um, to do it. And, uh, but you know what? The clients are really good about it. Like they've kind of all figured out how to hold their masks while we're cutting around the ears and everything else. And so it's kind of, it's really nice that everybody has come to terms with this new way of life that we've had to kind of, you know, challenge ourselves to. Exactly. And, and I know tonight, Thursday night here, this was also your opening day, like to open up your doors. And I do know how many workers can, are you allowed to have on during the day What when it's open? Well, we can have like um, three, um, you know, basic, we can have three stylists. 
like in in the this the size of my shop because I can um, mm -hmm. you know six chairs so that we can do our self distancing. Um, you know we're gonna have a front uh, end girl. Um, we're gonna have someone that helps shampooing and stuff like that. The one nice thing is is that um, we're trying not to shampoo like clients are coming in with their hair clean. But we are coloring, we are perming, so we have to rinse at the sink. Um, we haven't set up the clothing area. Um, okay. so that way we can spread out our clients, um, you know, that they can um, wade inside safely um, if they feel safe to do so. And, um, yeah, so it's been very exciting. We're glad to be back open. It feels so good. Oh. Well, I can imagine the people. You must. The phone must be ringing off the hook. Oh my gosh, this is it's. Uh, it's quite unbelievable. And you know, everybody suffered. I just got my hair done too. <laughs> I, uh, I took one for the team. I let the grays grow out. I should have put that on film, but I don't want anyone to ever see that. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's definitely. I think all everybody, not just the ladies, but the men, everybody is glad that uh, we can look a little bit normally. <laughs> <laughs> well, hence why I'm wearing the hat, Kathy, because really my hair is just horrible. And I'm going to be booking an appointment with you next week for sure because <laughs> I do need it. And I must say your hair looks gorgeous. Aw, thanks. No, you're welcome. You look great so, as well. <laughs> and uh, to, um, behind you, I noticed... There's some really nice shiny bottles of stuff. What is all that nice um, oh, girly stuff behind yeah. you? Um, let me see if I can figure out my left. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see here. Here we go. So um, just over my shoulder, um, there's eight, there's Moroccan oil and uh, different things uh, for your hair just to keep it nice and healthy and shiny and some nice hemp lotions that are wonderful for People that are doing office work just keeps you so moisturized. We even have some of our male clients that can't even move their hands without they use this. I don't know what is in the hemp lotion, but it's just absolutely amazing. Like where they can actually move and keep their hands going just from the hemp lotion. And, um, and then we have our wonderful AG product, a new um, vitamin C line um, that's wonderful. Um, for your hair and um, lots of good stuff. We're going to have lots of discounts and things and sale tables, um, you know, and we're not, we're not doing a COVID charge. I know a lot of the bigger salons were doing that in Vancouver um, because they have huge overheads. And I mean, everybody, every salon, every, everybody's different, but we're not doing a COVID charge. Um, you know, we're hoping that everybody brings their own mask, but if they don't have it, then we just charge them. Um, like what it costs us and um, and I do know are you requ you are requiring your clients to wear face masks right or mouth guards uh, yeah the face masks yeah. the face masks yeah that's what <laughs> the mouth guards right? <laughs> <laughs> and do you have any on hand for that a lot of people they're still kind of not into the whole mask thing mm -hmm. they have them stocked up so we have them here for them um at a dollar fifty just what it cost us to buy the mask so no matter what we we, we got them covered yeah mm -hmm. what a gracious host as you are people are coming to your store to buy a, a, a hair product or any product because you don't want people touching everything right no, no because um you know if they touch it it can be contaminated, you know, um, for up to a certain amount of time. So we don't want to risk, um, you know, spreading anything. So, um, yes, if they come in, if they could just ask one of us, we'll assist them, we'll help them, we'll grab what they want, we'll read it to them if they want, you know, need things explained. But, yeah, definitely ask for assistance um, for products if you can. Okay, and, and and also, could you let the let the audience know what um, days you're open and from what time? So, so we have a we've changed a little bit um, for COVID, so we're going to be shutting down Mondays. So um, and then we're open Tuesday to Friday, ten to six; Saturdays, ten to five. And um, we are booking up quite um, fast. You know, we're booking in already into the next week. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to get a, um, a hair appointment, 
your best to phone in as soon as possible to get you on the list. Okay, so I better call in pretty quick here. <laughs> <laughs> What what's with this? What's the spa part of it? So the spa, um, we do manis, pedis, facials, um, massage, um, and that's about it. Just your basic um, mm -hmm. day spa procedures. Well, that's great to know because now summer's coming, and and us ladies and men yeah. <laughs> need to remove a little bit of unwanted hair some places that we don't want <laughs> people to see. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else that um, you would like to tell the audience well um, just I want to thank Merit for being so um, loyal and kind and understanding through all these uncertain times and just how wonderful you know our clients and friends have been to us over the years like I just um, am so grateful and so in love with the Nicola Valley and the people of Merritt that um, I'm just uh, want to say thanks and stay safe out there and uh, you know just keep practicing what they're telling us to do because obviously it's working so we can get back to our normal lives and you know be together again all of us. <laughs> well, thank you, Cassie Castro, again, business entrepreneur, uh, fashionista. <laughs> future forward hair doer or hair styler is it hair stylist hair doer that doesn't sound right does it it whatever all of these <laughs> <laughs> well I thank you so much for um, being my first guest on, well, on the Nicola Valley um, talk show well thanks for uh, having me it's always a pleasure Okay, Kathy. So I'm going to let you go, and um, and I'll talk to you soon. I'll be calling for the hair. <laughs> Do awesome. Okay, take care, Kathy. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh well, so, well there we were, Kathy Castro, owner and entrepreneur, business um, owner of Planet Hair and Spa, right here in the Nicola Valley, Merritt, downtown Merritt on Granite Avenue. Um, so I would like to thank everyone for joining in for the for um, the Nicola Valley Talk Show again. It's, it airs every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Pacific time on our Experience Nicola Valley Facebook page. And my name is Tanya Stewart. I am a co-host, and the other co-host that um, is that does every other second week that I'm not doing. Her name is Yano Howard. And next week on June the 4th, she will um, having um, are talking to, let me see here, Blaine and Daniel Martins from Black's Pharmacy from here in Merritt, as um, we're all pro probably well aware of and because they've been around forever. And so please join next week at uh, 7 p.m. Um, Pacific time for uh, Yano Howard and Black's Pharmacy. Okay, and everyone take care, and thank you very much. Good night.